our artist concepts are going to be the public face for some of these objects. And there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. I'm Robert Hurt. I'm the visualization scientist at IPAC, which is a science and data center for astrophysics and planetary science at Caltech. My name is Tim Pyle. I'm a multimedia producer at IPAC. I work with Robert. We've done illustrations of regions where stars form and cores, the stellar remnants after a star like our sun dies, leaving a, a white dwarf, a neutron star that's left at the core of a supernova explosion, supermassive black holes that sit in the cores of galaxies. Showing rocky planets, gas giants, brown, brown dwarfs, cool stars. With TRAPPIST-1, I was immediately thinking, this is going to be the most significant thing that has come out of the Spitzer mission. It's going to be the, the result that I think Spitzer will really be remembered for. The properties that we come away with uh, from this kind of observation include the diameter of the planet, its orbital period, whether it's likely to be tidally locked, which will say something about what the planet probably looks like. If it's less dense than the Earth, it might have more volatiles like water on it, which is why uh, two of the Trappist planets were shown as water worlds. If it has a higher density than Earth, then it's probably a little more rocky. By doing these artist concepts, we are actually getting across the point that no, these aren't just we know there's a planet there and that's the extent of, uh, of our information about it. All of these decisions are made in conjunction with the scientists. I got my PhD in astrophysics from UCLA. I'm an artist with a Hollywood background. A lot of times I'm very focused on you know, the science bullet points that I'm trying to get across. We, we kind of cover each other's blind spots a bit. If you go back and you look at the whole history of space art and, and science-based illustration for you know, reaching back many, many decades, you have a visual history, a visual record of our evolving understanding. The art is as much historical record of our changing understanding of the universe as the textbooks that we write.